Mesh filters are a great feature in the sculpting workspace within Blender that can make working with your meshes much quicker and easier. So I'm in the default scene and I've got my screencast at the bottom here and I'm in Blender 3.0. Now often we block out our shapes before going into sculpting. So let's, as an example, select the default cube, duplicate it, so Shift D. And when you're blocking out, you usually overlap your shapes. So something like this. I'll add also with Shift A, a UV sphere under the mesh menu and move that up to the top somewhere around here. And now if I want to join all these shapes together, so they're one object for sculpting, I can select them all and press Control J. You may also want your origin in the middle, so right click, set origin. Now you'd think origin to geometry would work here, but I think that takes into account the amount of vertices rather than the actual volume. So if I right click, set origin, and then origin to center of mass, surface and volume, either one of these will get it roughly in the center for you there. So they're all joined together with Control J. I've moved my origin to the middle. I can go across to sculpt mode. Let's just frame this and bring my brushes out. Now they're all different colors. Those are face sets. I'm not going to talk about that in this session. What I am going to do is remesh these. So let's remesh with a voxel size of 0 0.01. So it's relatively fine and remesh. That obviously takes away the face sets. And now they're all one manifold object, but it's all really blocky. And we can go in obviously with our smooth brush and start smoothing out like so but that will take ages to go over the whole shape. So I'll undo that. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, we have mesh filters. So if I tick on that. You can see your filter types up the top here and what they can affect and the strength. And at the moment we're on inflate. You can also see these tools down the side here in the workspace settings. If I change this across to smooth, now if I click and drag to the right, you can see it slowly smooths my entire shape out. As soon as I let go, that sets it. And then I can click and drag to the right again and it smooths it out even more. So I don't have to go over the whole shape smoothing it out. There's other great filter types in here as well. So something like inflate. Let's click and drag and see what that does. And that inflates all my objects. Now they are overlapping here, so I can do Control R to do another remesh. And you can see now they're all one object again, and we've got this quite cool shape here. I could go back to the smooth here and then smooth it out a bit. So click and drag and just smooth that out so these links are a bit more smooth. There's lots of other filter types that you can play with. Those are the two I've found the most useful. Sphere is quite an interesting one. If I click and drag now, it turns it into a sphere. But do be aware that's going towards the origin point which I placed in the middle. I'll undo that. You've also got a scale option here, so you can scale the whole shape up or down. And all these filters can be used with masks. So in this portal I'm making here, if I zoom in, and press M to go to my mask brush. You can find the mask brush fairly near the mesh filters down here. The mask is just above it. And I can come in, zoom right in here. I'll put the strength of my mask up to one and I can start drawing some interesting rune shape type things on my portal. Okay, so I've got my simple designs. I'm going to mirror these across because it will take so much time. I can invert my mask with Control I and then use the mesh filter option once again. I can use the inflate option and I'll just come around to the side here, click and drag, and you can see those being pulled outwards. With the inflate, it does sort of bubble it up. So you may actually want to use the move tool instead if it's perfectly on the Y axis. But it's an example of how you could use the mesh filters or the move tool. At this point, worth doing a remesh. That will clear my mask. And you might want to go back to the mesh filter and just smooth out some of these areas. And there I've got my funny symbols on my portal. Quick symmetrize, and there we go. Then let's put that into some sort of fun landscape. If you want to see a tutorial on how to make this, then comment below. Hopefully you'll find mesh filters helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.